Hello, I'm Zachary Hansen, recently returned missionary from the Japan Sendai Mission. And I'm Jenny Hansen. And I'm Lizzie Hansen. Okay. Jennifer Elizabeth, thank you for this time. Today, I'd like to teach a little bit about planet salvation. And both of you already know a lot about the planet salvation. Yeah. Thereby, I want to hear a little bit about what to you is the most important part of the plan of salvation? Jennifer? I think the most important part for me about the plan of salvation is the peace that it comes from the knowledge that it gives us of where we've been and where we're going, that we can that we're all part of a connected eternal family. Okay. Elizabeth? Well, I know for me, last year when our grandmother died, like, it was a huge comfort. And it's always been a huge comfort that, you know, I get to be there with Father. Yeah. That's one of the biggest blessings of Pond Salvation, right? We know that it, it's not the end for us, and we get to see our beloved family members again. The other biggest blessing part of that is we get to see our Heavenly Father again. From the plan of salvation, we know that God is our Heavenly Father, that He is the Father of our spirits. And now, I'd like to use this pamphlet and just would ask you to like look at the front page and think what is obvious, what is the center of the plan of salvation? The Savior Jesus Christ. The Savior Jesus Christ. Because of Him, we can return to Heavenly Father. Everything that He did and is doing is for our benefit and is so that we can go back and live with our Heavenly Father and enjoy the blessings of immortality. So, just have to open the page. And one of the questions that the plan of salvation answers for us is, where did I come from? So, the answer to that is, we came from the only Heavenly Father. We were spirit children, sons and daughters, who enjoyed being in the presence of our Heavenly Father and learned from Him. Learned from Him about this wonderful plan of salvation what would, it would mean for us and what it could mean for us. So there's a scripture on this page from Alma 22:13. Jennifer, would you please read first? It says, The plan of salvation was prepared from the foundation of the world through Christ for all whosoever would believe on his name. Thank you. Reading that, what well, meaning does that have to you personally and how would you say it in your own words? I think that one of the important parts, I mean like we talked about on the front cover that Jesus Christ is the central figure in the plan of salvation. So we have to act on faith and believe in him and know that what we are, what he teaches us about the plan of salvation in the scriptures is truth. What do you think Liz? What was the question again? So, what does the scripture mean to you? Or how would you spend what the scripture is saying in your own words? I think that as long as we believe in Christ, we can have it. We will know that it is true, that it is possible, and that is why it's such a comfort because Christ gave us atonement, and without that atonement, we wouldn't be able to have that comfort. And what like you said earlier that some things that bring you comfort about is family being able to see family members again and that they're not really gone. And it Jesus Christ really did make all that possible. I really like how you said that he's the reason that these things are possible. So just like these two parents well, I'm sure we've all like been the baby in this picture, and we are all the baby in this picture. Heavenly Father is just like our earthly parents. 
who love us and looks after us in this infant-like time in our lives. So, turn the page. I'd like to talk a little bit about agency. And so there's actually a paragraph right here. So, Liz, would you read this paragraph and end up with, in your, and then ends at Jesus Christ. In your pre-earth life, you learned that only by choosing to follow God's plan could you receive lasting peace and satisfaction in this life and for eternity. Because he loves you, your Heavenly Father gave you agency or the power to make choices. He let you choose whether you would follow his plan in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Liz, you're about to go on a mission. So, how does a how will agency affect you on a mission? Do you, how, how do you think it will affect you on your mission? Well, I think that because I chose to go on a mission and choosing to do whatever it is that the Lord wants me, so I'm letting Him decide and just following the Spirit that He gave, brings me. Those are a lot of blessings that come with a little choice, right? Yeah. She's so happy that we can make those kinds of choices. Yeah, that's pretty great. If we didn't have agency, we wouldn't have those blessings. So that's one of the big things that we need to remember, right? That as we make good choices, we are blessed. That's how we learn. Bad choices, we don't get too many blessings. And we may feel a lot of hurt at first, but Heavenly Father wants us to learn. We're just like toddlers trying to walk, right? We fall over a couple times. Falling over doesn't feel too good, so sometimes we don't want to walk again. But for whatever reason, we see our parents walking, and we want to walk too. So we get back on our feet and keep going. That's just like agency. We just keep going after, keep trying. So... Part of that agency, and Liz, you've chosen to use the agency to share the gospel. This is amazing. This is a great blessing. And you're going to need to be patient with other people's agency. And so I would like to make a couple of promises and an invitation to both of you. So you two have enjoyed the blessings of the plan of salvation. What do we like to do with things that we really like? Cherish them. Cherish them. Take, well, I there along with cherish is taking care of, but it's also nurturing it too. Nurturing. And um, I think that we can't take it for granted. Okay. And then you want to share it. You want to share it. Let others have any experiences and joy that it brings. Exactly. So I would like to invite two of you to seek after opportunities to share what you know about the plan of salvation that God is our Heavenly Father. And I have a scripture as a very special promise. It's, not, it's in Doctrine and Covenants 33, 7 through 10. Elizabeth, would you please read 7 through 10? Yea, verily, verily, I say unto you, that the field is white already to harvest. Wherefore, thrust in your sickles, and reap with all your might, mind and strength. Open your mouths, and they shall be filled, and you shall become even as Nephi of old, who journeyed from Jerusalem in the wilderness. Yea, open your mouths, and spare not, and you will be laden with sheaves unto your backs, for lo, I am with you. I can promise you that as you open your mouths and seek after those opportunities to open them, you will be strengthened and blessed. So will you, Jennifer and Elizabeth, 
to open your mouth and share that blessing with others. Yes. Yes, I'll do that. Just by that. You will find those blessings and the Spirit will be with you. I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.